Hello and welcome to this quick setup guide for the Frost Fighter indirect fired heater. This heater will operate on natural gas or propane. This heater can be installed inside or outside. In both cases make sure you have clearance around the unit and the unit is installed on a flat level surface. High temperature ductwork must be used from the supply side of the heater. Two models are available. One has two 12 inch ports for duct and one has one 16 inch port for ductwork. Do not use more than 25 feet of duct. Some units also have a fresh air side ductwork. This will require a 16 inch piece of duct. All of the products of combustion are expelled to the top of the indirect fired heaters. If installing these heaters outdoors, make sure you have a two foot distance from any exterior wall to the ductwork. Also make sure you have a rain cap on top of the ductwork to prevent water from getting into the machinery. If installing the indirect fired heaters indoors, have a two foot vertical rise before you have any bends or turns in the ductwork. When you expel the ductwork out the exterior portion of the building, you need to have a rise of at least one inch per 10 inches. This unit operates on 120 volts of power it needs a minimum of 110 volts of running voltage to operate properly. Use a 12 gauge or thicker extension cord no longer than 100 feet. If choosing to use propane for your fuel, make sure the company that provides the propane provides a first stage regulator. Also, throughout the project's lifespan, make sure these tanks are always at 30% or higher for the minimum fuel. Use pipe dope to connect the one inch hose to the regulator. Slowly turn on the shutoff valve and use leak soap to check for any leaks. Before operation, make sure the red gas valve handle is placed in either the LP or the natural gas setting. It is mandatory to set this unit up with a manometer. Set the unit to 3 inches of water column for both propane or natural gas. The manometer connection point is in the bottom of the heater. This unit has two fuel shutoff valves, one at the main regulator and one below the unit. Connect the thermostat to the outlet of the back of the unit. Install the thermostat inside the building and set the temperature as desired. Use the three position toggle switch to start the unit. Toggle the switch downward to thermostat and the unit will start and run up to desired thermostatic temperature. Move the toggle upward to manual and the heater will continuously run. The fan will operate before the burner is ignited. Also it is important to use the toggle switch to turn off the unit. This will turn on the fan for a two minute runtime without the burner to cool down the unit. If power is interrupted for any reason, the fan will not be able to cool the chamber and the heater may overheat. This heater may pop the high limit switch at the front of the unit that may have to be reset. Thank you for taking the time to properly and safely set up this piece of equipment. If you have any questions 24 hours a day, please contact one of the following service locations.